Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Um, I've been asked by one of my regular YouTube viewers, uh, Paul Carberry, I think his name is, so thank you mate for the um, request or challenge, whatever you want to call it. Um, he's asked me if I can show and demonstrate how to light a fire using a empty standard, um, you know, like Bic lighter type of thing, just a standard lighter, using only the flint. Obviously I've even drilled a hole in this so you can see there is no gas at all in there. Um, what I um, would suggest is from the offset, to make life easy for yourself if you're going to use this method, um, start by taking off the steel hood, you know the actual um, chrome bit, just pull that little thing off, you're not going to be needing that. Um, obviously the fork that used to lift the valve, I've broken that off. I did that earlier prior to drilling the hole just to show that there is no gas coming out but since then I've drilled the hole just for belt and braces. The ring that can come off as well, we're not, you know, the little adjusting ring, we're not bothered about that. All we want is the actual flint itself. So what I'm going to do is take that now, um, as you can see, like I say it's completely empty. I'm going to show a couple of methods of actually lighting a fire just using the striker on a what would normally otherwise be a useless used lighter. So I'm going to go outside now and uh, show you a couple of methods. Stay with me. Yeah. Welcome back. Okay, I'm outside now. Got the old useless lighter here. My knife, obviously. Piece of my jute twine netting. But that's just going to act as a, uh, you know, the nest um, to blow to flame, hopefully. And a um, piece of the old char cloth. So this is quite an easy method, as you can see where I'm going with this. Uh, method number one, using char cloth and uh, the striker off a lighter, so let's crack on. See a couple of goes and got a nice ember already, I don't know if it's all picking up on camera but let's transfer, let's transfer that into our bird's nest material, just in the centre there. There we go, that's fire number one. Easy method number one, using just the striker off a uh, empty lighter, so easy life that one. So I'll stay with me and I'll show you a couple more methods. Okay this is another method um, of getting a fire going using a spent lighter. This time I'm using some birch bark and as you can see I've done a bit of prep already. All I'm doing is using the tip and the end of the knife there. Finally scrape some of that birch bark until you go through the white paper covering at the front put that down to the wind, don't blow it away. Just a minute. Bear with me. Okay, so again, just keep scraping away at this, nice and gentle. I'm trying to get through the first paper layer of the bark, through to the red or pink under layer, because that's what contains all the oils, which obviously is flammable. And, um, because we're using a lighter um, striker, the sparks are only cool and not very many of them. You need to really do some prep work, get this stuff as fine and as dusty and as uh, fibrous as you can. Obviously, you know, for a couple of seconds of sparking, hopefully, <laughs> you need minutes and minutes of prep. But, um, get that in there. Okay, let's take the. Uh, Try and get the finest stuff I can here, take the lighter to it. And this is where you end up with thumb ache because it does take forever. Oh, we're in. Yes. Haha. <laughs> so here we go. As you can see, that's got it. It's going up like gas. Excellent. So there's a fire method number two. Getting your fire going using Yowza, using the old lighter. So, 
that's the birch bark method. Stay with me and I'll show you a couple more. Okay, I'll just quickly show you this last one for today because no doubt you're bored to death. <laughs> uh, that's the lowly old cotton wool ball or tampon, uh, tampax, something like that, or the face cleansing pads, you know, just fluff one of them bad boys open uh, as fine as you can. Try not to get it too close to the wheel because it will clog your wheel up. So, uh, and be careful, this one does go up quickly and it does stick, so, you know, like that. It's no problem at all. So there's another fire lighting method, dead simples. Most of you guys and lasses will have some cotton wool of some sorts in your first aid kit, no doubt. So there you go, happy days. So, well Paul, I hope this uh, suffices for you brother. This little video on the useless lighter, fire lighting methods. And um, thank you all very much for watching out there. Till next time, Mad Dog signing off. Yeah.